wanna gank like a pro? Watch this video. Number 1. Don't gank in the beginning if there's a possibility that the enemy will invade your jungler, especially if they're an assassin jungler, as assassin junglers are more vulnerable in the early and can get invaded easier than if they were a tank jungler like Fredrin. So instead of ganking, stay closer to your jungler until they're around level 4. You should zone for your jungler when there are enemy heroes like Fanny, Fredrin, Hilda, Hanzo, Uranus, or Franco who can invade. Number 2. When you're rotating, make sure you stay hidden on the map, because we know what happens when the marksman or fighter sees you coming, they will play safer under their turret. Don't go past enemy minions, or near the enemy turret's range on your way to ganking, because if you walk near the enemy turret, where you're able to see the turret's range, the enemy can see you on the map. Furthermore, do not be too obvious about where you're going to gank by making sure the enemy roam and mid aren't following you or providing vision on you. At times they could even be camping in a bush, without you knowing and vision on you, and the way to not be spotted by them while you're rotating is to use one of these gank paths. Number 3. Avoid this specific type of bush whether it's top lane or bottom lane when you gank, very often the enemy roam camps in that bush if he's not seen on the map in order to provide vision for the enemy marksman. So if you do know where the enemies are on the map, you're allowed to enter that bush, but if not, it's better to go the other gank path, where you stay more hidden, and camping in the correct bush very often makes your gank successful, unless they're a Leslie and are once in a while pressing their ultimate button to make sure no one is near the radar. Number 4. Trick the enemy you wanna gank, by pretending you're going to gank the other lane instead of them. Before the last minion dies, when you clear minion waves with the mage at mid lane, act like you're gonna rotate to the EXP lane by walking towards that lane, and right when the minion dies, which means the minion will no longer show you on the map, you turn around and head straight to gank gold lane. This is a trick, for an enemy who pays a lot of attention to the map. Also when you sometimes accidentally get visioned by the Litha Wanderer, you should walk towards the opposite side of the lane you wish to gank, until it no longer shows you on the map, and then you can try again. Most players will think you're not headed to them after you're exposed on the map, because you're going back, but it's of course all just an act. Number 5. What you can do if the enemy is playing too safe under the turret. Ideally you should gank gold lane, but if the enemy seems to be playing too safe under the turret, then there's no point in rotating there, and instead you can try to gank EXP lane. A successful gank doesn't mean that the enemy has to be killed. If you manage to make their HP lower, you're giving your ally a better chance to win his lane, because then the enemy has to either recall or take risks by remaining on their lane. However, if you do have jungler and mage with you to gold lane, you can perhaps overextend and turret dive, but you need to watch out for other enemies that may potentially show up as well. Number 6. No need to always assist the jungler at turtle. When turtle is about to spawn, don't gank any lanes or babysit your gold laner unless your team can take the turtle on their own. An example is if your jungler is reliable and isn't low HP with retribution ready and the enemy jungler is dead, you don't really have to zone if your other allies are at turtle as well. That way you can quicker rotate and gank the gold laner, where they mostly won't expect you to come. Number 7. Don't overstay on gold lane or exp lane. If you try to gank but it seems unlikely the enemy will leave the turret while you're camping in a bush, just go back and continue to provide vision and focus on other objectives, such as turtle or perhaps pressure mid turret. It's very unlikely that they'll go away from the turret, because maybe their allies warn them that you'll be coming, and you'll just be wasting your time. 